Still tracking snow from what we had earlier. Storm tracker radar showing lighter snow to the east of I-15, Idaho Falls and Pocatello area. It picks up a little bit in intensity around Ryrie, US 26. We showed you Pine Creek Pass. They're still getting some snow up and over in the southern end of Teton Valley. This is kind of the last gasp of snow for today, but there's certainly more on the way. As we zoom out, you can still see a lot of clouds over the gym state, but we are seeing some clearing, so those areas that clear off are going to certainly be a lot colder than the rest of us that will have a blanket over clouds over the top of us. Uh, enough moisture here to work with to get some lighter snow tomorrow, so we got more snow in the forecast, albeit lighter than what we had out today. But it was a significant snowstorm, at least for Pocatello, anywhere from two to four inches, depending where you're at, what bench you were on, if you will. And then I think for other areas, one to three, some of the mountains picked up over a half foot. So we'll take it. We'll add it. We needed it, right? We got more in the seven day forecast. Wait until you see that. Mostly clear tonight, or mostly cloudy, I should say. We don't want the clearing because we'd be a lot colder than what you see here. So 18 is what we're expecting in Pocatello with the cloud cover that'll keep a little bit of the heat in we got this afternoon. I know still really cold. 12 for low in Idle Falls and in St. Anthony, 14 in Salmon. The rest of us will be in the single digits where we're going to see a little more clearing. Stanley, Barely above zero with one for a forecast low tonight. For the upper highlands, western Wyoming, still some lingering snow showers, very isolated into the overnight and low temperatures, colder than they were last night. We'll get a little more clearing than we'll see in the Snake River Plain. That means places like uh, Jackson, Yellowstone. In fact, all of us will dip down in the single digits, at least for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. And for the southeast corner of the state, isolated snow showers, mainly this evening. Montpelier, you're cold again. You were five last night. Tonight, you're looking at a low of eight. Then tomorrow, kind of a day in between, at least for the southeastern quarter. Uh, more junky clouds than I think any, than anything. We might see some blue sky from time to time. Highs will range from the mid to upper 20s. Uh, almost 30 Milan City. Downing Downey will uh, see a high temperature of 26. Island Park tomorrow, not a very warm day. More snow on the way, especially late afternoon into the evening. One to four inches likely. 18, wow, that's not very warm in Dubois. Only 17 in Yellowstone. A little better in Jackson with a high of 22. We have a chance of snow for the Central Mountains. That comes later in the day and more snow on the way for the Snake River Plain. Anywhere from a light dusting to about an inch. I think some heavier snow though on the way tomorrow night. And your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers seven day forecast. You can see that snow continuing a Wednesday, Thursday with chances of snow Friday and Saturday. So definitely a busy week. It's probably a good thing the holiday isn't this week because traveling and we got some headaches, more headaches as far as traveling is concerned. Idle fall seven day forecast, snow likely for the next three days. Chances of snow Friday and Saturday. Looks like the weekend things will start to settle down, at least the latter half. Teton area, heaviest snow will fall Wednesday and Thursday with snow continuing through Saturday. Even some chances of snow Sunday and Monday. And for the central mountains, we could see snow the next couple of days. Definitely snow for your Thursday and some lingering snow perhaps on Friday. A little break on Saturday. 